Hi, my name is uh, Michael Weatherly. I'm a relief printmaker from Elbow Lake, Minnesota. I got into printmaking in college. Um, I was an art history major and a studio art minor at the University of Minnesota Morris. In my sophomore year, I took my first printmaking class and I fell in love with printmaking. I love the reaction of the ink on the paper um, and to see what is uncontrolled because if you're a painter, it's always right in front of you. Printmaking, there's always something that could happen, an accident that can happen to make something work out or not work out. And so the love of, of pulling the print and actually lifting up the paper off the um, whatever substance that you're printing on is was the thing that made me fall, fall in love with printmaking. So as I said, I'm mainly a relief printmaker. Um, I use a couple of different surfaces to um, carve into. One is linoleum, one is Sintra, and the other one is wood. Each of them have a different characteristic that I try to use in my prints. Um, linoleum gives a nice, hard, clean black line, um, as Sintra does also, but Sintra, the nice thing about Sintra is I can cut it apart and ink, ink it separately like a jigsaw puzzle and put it back together and give multiple colors. And then wood, wood has a mind of its own. It has its own grain, it has its own, um, feel it's usually a little softer um, in the feel when the print is made and it tends to be a little warmer things like that in early 2018 i started doing a series of work where i wanted to really capture um human emotion kind of maybe an emotion somebody's feeling at the time and try to get the viewer to relate to that feeling when they view my piece of work these are two wood cuts that i did early in 2018 that um, were an example of trying to convey this emotion. The, the one on my right, this one right here is called Sorrow. Um, it's got a very warm, solemn feel to it. And I used wood, as I said, in this, this print to try to convey this feel. Um, the other one here is, um, is Worry. Uh, I'm trying to convey um, this, the feeling of being worried and not knowing the outcome and of so, something that's going to happen and things like this. So this is, in 2018, I started doing, trying to capture more human emotion in my prints and things like this. Okay, so continuing on the series of human emotion um, and a sense of uh, uncovering, I guess, or something like that, trying to relate to the human, um, the viewer, trying to convey a feeling they might be feeling or evoke an emotion that they're like quite not sure what's going on in these prints. In 2019, I started a, this small series of kind of looking in a, a room um, and getting a sense of what was going on inside someone's mind or inside their house. And this is kind of the beginning of where Behind the Door came, um, kind of looking in on what might be happening inside inside someone's world in their own personal world and trying to convey a thought or a process or um, an emotion of what might be happening behind that people usually don't usually see as um as i said i use linoleum um i'm very graphic orientated i really like hard black lines black and white this is one of my favorite pieces it's called grief three um it marks a um, a style change or a techniques change. As I said, I use Sintra. Um, the nice thing about Sintra is I can cut it apart like a jigsaw puzzle and ink it separately and put it back together. Um, this is a three plate or two plate, three run, color run um, print where I use Sintra. Um, this print is very special to me. It was, um, I did it in 2018 and it, there's some um, pieces of artwork that people have in their career that mark changes in style or milestones. We call them milestone pieces or things like this. And this, this is a very important milestone piece of my career. Um, High Point Printmaking Center in Minneapolis has an international call every other year. Printmakers all over the world apply for for this show. In 2018, there were. 750 applicants for the show and they chose um, 70 prints and this print was chosen to be among those prints. They usually bring in a very distinguished juror to juror the show 
and that year it was um, Horace Mann, who is the head of the print, print division at the Smithsonian. Um, in early 2020, I started working on, um, I had an idea, I wanted to work big again. Um, in 2017, I did a show here at the Cadets where I did um, 14 eight foot woodcuts. And I really wanted to start working big again. And the idea of including the actual um, surface that was to be printed um, was something I tossed around. People really were interested in actually seeing the carving and interested in seeing this is a piece of art in itself is seeing the carving. So when I started thinking about this, I thought about what I could actually, how I could actually start getting into installation art and installing um, maybe three-dimensional artwork with printmaking. And the ideas of printing on doors came about. And through some very important conversations with some colleagues, things like this, um, the theme of addiction and op the opioid crisis at the time before the actual pandemic, there was, I mean, an, a drug, drug ep epidemic going on, and it's still going on, and actually it's getting worse even through the pandemic, um, where I wanted to address the op opioid epidemic. And so behind the door it came about. And through these conversations of um, addressing the drug addiction and things like this, of people, uh, what they actually, you know, might be going through and being behind that door that no one actually ever sees into and things like that. Something they might want to keep enclosed inside and secret. And through conversations and um, with health professionals and other artists, and things like that. The idea of them being trapped in this portal too, and them trying to come through and break free from this door back into possibly a normal life came about too. So I mean, so this is how Behind the Door came, came through. Um, this piece is called um, Time Capsule, and it basically shows someone trapped inside of a, um, a capsule of pills and trying to get out.